Okay, hello. Good day. Okay. Um, once again, my name is Isaac Urumogje. I'm from Nine Points Academy. And in this uh, video, I want to do a short video. I'm really concerned about the rate of people that fails IELTS reading. And then, whether you want to self-prepare or you want to contact a tutor or a tutorial center that will train you, there are basic things. I am confident to go ahead with this video because of the fact that being able to train people, even people who have poor reading ability, properly dyslexic people, discuss 6, 6.5. And so we've taken average writers to like 7.58 and some to nine. So that's why I am saying, okay, there is a method. And the first thing, I'm going to be giving you the problems. And then I won't be leaving you at that. I'll be giving you highlights of the solution. You can decide to self-study, contact the tutorial center, or even contact us at Nine Point Academy. So now I want to give you a slide or show you a demonstration of the issues. Okay, reasons many fail IELTS reading and the solutions. Okay, there are four reasons. I want you to please take note of those four reasons. For those who have written the exam before, take note. For those who are just about to write, take note so that you will take cognizance and then apply them to your preparation or to guide you to know that you are on the right path. The thing about the exam is you don't need to get to the exam all that day and be guessing. You must go into the exam all with a strategy. Yes. So, but let me give you the problems. So as to, the problem is not to scare you. The problem is to help you develop a solution and a methodology to tackling it. So don't let it scare you. If you've written the exam before and failed, you've given up. No, you can't. You just need to prepare rightly, get into the right hands that will prepare you. Okay, so number one of the problem is volume of the passage. Yes, because quite a number of people get into the exam hall. In all their preparation, they've never read such a volume under a short period of time. Then the technicalities, very technical passages, sometimes for a general writer in the paragraph three, or uh, sorry, the passage three, which is the last passage ending, you just see that the passage is cumbersome, technical, and then you can't finish. Maybe you started well, you were getting the questions, getting the answer, then you get to the third paragraph. Then for academic writer, you just see that from paragraph passage one through to three are so difficult. There is a method. Okay. Then the time. <laughs> okay, if you've done it before, you would know this. If you've not done it before, don't take it for granted. The time, uh, which is, why is the time so crucial or so disturbing? Is the fact that you have three or four passages. And I'm going to give you sample passage to help you have an insight. And if you've been practicing before, so you start developing a strategy on how to handle. If you are a do-it-yourself person, this video could help you. If you are not a do-it-yourself person, then you need to seek help at the right places. Many centers are training because it's become popular, especially in countries like my Nigeria. Yes, they entered into the business when it became popular. And some people say it is just English test. English, those who did English major, good at it, failed because there are things about it 
not because they can't read. I will go into that. Then you have 40 questions. Then you have 60 minutes. Okay, before I go, there are four. Please pay attention. Volume of passage, the technicalities of passage, the time, and then the peculiarities of the questions. This is the area where even if you've studied English, you might have problem. The peculiarities of the questions. That is, I say there are four, um, six general question type. Yes, some people will say 11, nine. The thing there is that six generally, but some of these questions have subdivisions, like matching tax, there are matching either, sorry, there is matching either, and there is matching information. So some of them have sub questions types. So the four problem categories, volume, technicalities, time, and question, peculiarity of question. I want to describe them now in a sample passage. Okay, look at this passage now. This passage is passage A, it is labeled A, B, C, D. And then this is one paragraph in a passage. And then this could be, you could have three or more passages. Then this paragraph could be six to nine. Then on the average in the old essay, you have over uh, 22 or more paragraphs. That is a simple uh, or a mildly uh, rated IELTS reading passage. Some are lucky to get those and they scale to the sum. You write on the days when the things are a bit tough. So you now see yourself handling 27 of these, 22 of these, 23 or 30, 27 of these in one hour, yes, with 40 questions to contend with, and then in 60 minutes and question, different question types. People have often scaled through when they get to the exam hall and they see predominantly one or two types of questions. It is easy to navigate. But under some exam condition, four or five question types or six are squeezed in. Then you need to prepare. You need to prepare. So that is it. So those are the problems. So when you are preparing, you need to understand volume. So you need to start learning how to cope with volume, technicalities, time, and then the peculiarities of the questions. I am emphasizing this thing so that you won't forget. Now, I have highlighted the problem and I have displayed how they play out on that exam condition. The truth is, I've written this exam before. I've taught it for four years in physical class and in online class. And I've seen student challenges over time. We've developed, modify, adjust models to fit even into the scheme of things for the weakest readers. Okay, so now these are the solutions. Number one, you need to learn how to read effectively. There's no shortcuts. There is something about those passages and the way the questions are structured. And I'm going to demonstrate it hands down because I have done short, short videos. If you have encountered any of my short videos, you need to go back. I treated some how to read effectively. I treated some how to tackle true first not giving questions. The thing there is that you need to know those things. Number one is how to read effectively. There is a method to reading. You can't take your everyday reading method of just, some people will say scam, scheme. No, there is a method to reading and I'm going to display and practicalize it 
right in front of you. And I want you to go into your IELTS passages or uh, samples, sample questions you've got with you and try these things out. Okay, so um, number two is understand each question type. But today I'm just going to focus on giving you a lead on how to do this thing. Yes, read effectively. So reading effectively in our center, we teach three approaches to reading effectively. Number one is the main idea. Number one is supporting information. Number three is keywords. They can be used independently or jointly because we will give solutions to each question based on these three. But you can first of all use them to know how to read effectively. Okay, in our reading curriculum, strategy for reading, this is what we call it, then strategy for picking your answers. Yes, we teach it just like that. Okay, so let me take you to the main idea. What is it about main idea? Solution one, how to read effectively, main idea. This main idea thing means that this paragraph as a tease now, you can pick it apart in 30 seconds. Yes, I mean it to my bone. You can pick this paragraph apart in 30 seconds. For those who have photographic brain, they might not see any problem with this. For those who have reading challenges, it will help you. I say main idea often located in the first sentence of the paragraph. Worst case scenario, first two sentences. You need to read the first sentence and try to understand what the first sentence is saying. Pay attention to everything. Immediately you read and understand everything that will be discussed subsequently is just interpreting the first sentence. That's how over 90% of IELTS reading passages are structured. Look at this. Per capita, let me bold in this one and then you focus on it because this is what I'm going to be emphasizing or this is what I would emphasize. Okay, I bold in it so that you can pay attention. Per capita water usage has been on the upward trend for many years. Per capita water usage increasing for many years. Upward trend. That's the main idea. The old paragraph is talking about. Yes. So this paragraph, when you close your eyes in the exam or you want to judge something, per capita water usage has been. It helps you to really quickly note where a question is targeted at. But I don't want to display a question. I just want you to focus. After this, go and practice. Okay. So can, let's read the second sentence now. As, let's see what happens. As country industrialized and as citizen becomes more prosperous, their individual water usage increases. It is telling us what increases their water usage. If I was being elaborate, I would have taught you that keywords, but let me stick with main idea first. Water usage has been, it is telling you what is causing the what increase in water usage. Can you see that the, it is the same thing? If you are an economist, you will have discovered that per capita water, that is per capita, per capita income means um, as people get increased uh, income or their income versus expenditure increases. If you are not an economics, you don't need to bother. So per capita water usage as countries industrialize and citizens become prosperous. Can you see? So it is talking about what is causing the increase in water usage. And this one was talking about increase in water usage. Can you, let's go to the next end. Annual per capita water withdrawal, withdrawal or usage. For example, in the US, it's about four times the China. So it's giving us the consumption or usage in different countries. But you can see that if you understand the first sentence, which is the main idea, every other thing becomes simple. You, so, you now understand that everything this passage 
I'm trying to close my eyes because I want you to just imagine everything this paragraph is talking about is going to be on per capita water usage. That is the increase. It's telling you what's causing the increase. It's giving you the figure of the increase in some countries. That's what it is. Okay, so let me take you to the, another paragraph, which is a subsequent one to this one, paragraph B. Agriculture consumes about 70% of world fresh water. So improvement in irrigation can make greatest impact. It's trying to tell us agriculture consumes 70%. If you improve in irrigation, maybe uh, there will be a reduction. Great impact. It didn't tell us directly if there will be a reduction. Maybe it will be a so the issue is that what agri consume, what can be used to solve it? Yes. So if you understand the first sentence, don't rush into the next sentence. Try to be able to understand, and then you start seeing the link. If I teach supporting information and keywords, you will see everything that is, they repeated even the keywords, everything, they, there is a repetition. They just alternated them, used synonyms here, here and there to replace what was stated in the first sentence. Yes, they used synonyms. Check through the passages. They were just adopting synonyms to reinterpret. So that's why. So you can see at present, average efficiency in use of irrigated water in agriculture is as low. It's telling you that the efficiency they achieve in irrigation is 50%. Can you see a continuation? Since sample changes could improve, simple changes could improve the rate substantially. That is, if there's a change, the efficiency might improve. Though it, might, it is unrealistic to expect a high level of water efficiency in many developing countries blah 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 it's telling us that okay we can achieve efficiency with chimpu chain but some of these countries that are underdeveloped might not really be able to do that so uh, you can see it's all about agriculture and then water it consumed irrigation can help improve it if it is done properly or improved upon so Understanding the first sentence, which is the main idea, the person is presenting an idea for discussion. Academic essays are normally written like this. Yes. So that is the number one solution, <laughs> which is reading effectively and is just one of the three. If you know how to use the three, which I wouldn't be going into in this video, but I just want to give you a heads up into your preparation. Yes, I want to give you a heads up so that you can know the problems, so that you can know the solutions. I've listed four problems and I've described one of the solution and just one bit part of the solution. So when preparing for your exam, if you are a self-prepared person, you're preparing on your own, take note of this problem and be guided by the solutions I've provided. As a matter of fact, this simple display I showed to you, practice it. If it works, it works because the elaborate video I did on it, a lot of people gave feedback on the video on the YouTube. We can search it. It's just about over 1,000 views. Now, that is it. So I will be stopping here. Not the problem. I'll be coming back with the second stage or second um, part two of this to actually tell you, uh, in, uh, give an insight into the question types. That is the question. You need to know how to read first then you need to now start understanding the questions and how to pick your answers for each question type. So that when you see the questions on exam day, you're actually prepared, you are not gambling. No, don't gamble with your money, time, and things like that. So if you would like 
to get full lecture from us, you can call the number on the screen or on my background, Nine Points Academy. You can join us in physical class if you're in Nigeria, Lagos. If not, in online class, our online class are so detailed that we will be able to put you through as well. So thank you. And um, I'll be expecting your response. And then whether from your personal preparation and feedback or that you want to join our classes. Thank you.